First off, I want to talk about something. I want to talk about my psoriasis. If you haven't noticed, I have a skin disease. The only thing I don't like about my psoriasis is people take it as an invitation to come talk to me. They'll be like, did you get in a skateboarding accident? Which is really sad because I have to be like, no, I don't know how to skateboard and I've been trying since I was 12 years old. <laughs> but my favorite one is this guy came up to me. He had it. He was like, is your wife or anyone close to you slowly poisoning you with arsenic? I was flattered that he thought that I could have a wife <laughs> or anyone close to me, to be honest with you. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, you guys. I'm a little nervous <laughs> right now um, because my mom and dad are here. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, my dad, my dad's right here, right here in the front row, and then my mom is all the way back there, <laughs> the farthest seat she could take. I don't know, I'm proud of them. This is the first time they've been in the same room since like my college graduation, you know? <laughs> but that was a big stadium, and this is... <laughs> This is the smallest room they've been in since, uh, since I was born, I don't know. I mean, how big is a courtroom? <laughs> okay. Um, no, I love them. I love my parents. My dad, he's a, my dad's a hero. He's a hero. He's not my hero, but he's like a, he's like a hero in general, he's a firefighter. Yeah, yeah. I thought they'd get a big clap on today, you know? Yeah. It's okay. I mean, he wasn't like a first responder or anything, you know. If he was, maybe I'd be on SNL dating Ariana Grande. I don't know. Who's to say? Um, yeah. I, I don't like, I don't, I feel like he's right here and I'm ragging on it. But like, the f oh, let me just tell you this. The only two times I've ever seen my dad cry were when my, fa uh, my grandfather, his father died, and when the Dodgers lost to the Red Sox in the 2018 World Series. <laughs> so you tell me why we're here, you know? Um, and then my mom, my mom's the kind of lady that likes to post Instagram stories that say like, tried to make a protein shake, but it came out like a margarita again, <laughs> you know? Yeah, but, but she's also a cop. I bring that up because if you guys don't laugh, I don't know. You know? Um, yeah, if you're following, my dad's a firefighter, my mom's a cop, and I look like I sell carpets at the swap meet. I know, I know what I look like. Um, yeah. I look like I sell carpets and they're heroes. That's it, that's my life. They're real heroes. Like save everything except your marriage, it's okay. Um, The only, the only thing I don't like about their job is that like, uh, is I can't participate in the family business. Like my dad was like, I could get you a spot in the academy. And he's like, I have to, there will be some running. And I was like, it's okay, I'll be poor. Um, listen, you guys, I have to tell you a story. Um, I lost my Virginia on the day of the Women's March. Which part do you guys not believe? I feel like you're not here with me. My mom is still here, for sure. Um, yeah, like my parents never really had the sex talk with me because I guess they thought I wasn't having sex. They were right, I guess. Um, <laughs> but I lost my virginity on the day of the Women's March and that makes me think that I'm the only Mexican whose life got better after Trump was elected. You know? <laughs> like kids are in cages, but I had sex with a woman. <laughs> Net positive? I think so. All right, thank you. I've been John Luna. I'm gonna go deal with the consequences of what I said. <laughs>